Hey guys, Tyrell here. And you know those raids, those raids that you think are just going to go horribly wrong when you're halfway through them, you're just realizing, oh crap, what the hell have I done? And then, you just decide to wait. You decide to wait, and well, it ends a little bit differently than you thought it would. These are those raids. You can't record these live, because you just don't know when it's gonna happen. You might get lucky and record one live, but a lot of the time you're just raiding and you have no idea what's going to happen. So I'm going in and I'm trying to take out those air defenses right there. So I'm using that weird go lava lunion deal. The, uh, I think it's called Cold Blooded over on Hulk's channel. I don't know, I didn't know about it until I saw it in a video from Daddy. But I'm going in, I'm trying to get it, and I'm actually going to be able to destroy that air defense on the left just with those barbarians left after my king dies. Now my queen is still, of course, going to be able to take out the other one. It took her a really long time to get it. But unfortunately, they're not going to stay up long enough for my other troops to get into play. Just because I was relatively new to this attack when I first started this. I didn't know how to do it, so I was really slow on deployment. And my balloons were a little bit late there and all that stuff. This is an older raid. This isn't a raid that I did like yesterday. This is a raid I did back when I was recording that in the first place. And I'm going in and I'm trying to get to the town hall. And it looks all right now because that's a single target inferno tower right there. Those are single target inferno towers. So I should be all right. I mean, there's nothing really left to take me out. But I also don't have any troops to clear it with. I've only got a couple wizards, a couple hog riders left. And the, a few wall breakers, but the wall breakers aren't going to do much. It was at this point that I realized there is no way for me to do anything but maybe get a 50%. 50% looks like maybe I can get it. I'm not 100% sure because there's not a lot of free buildings. Even those buildings on the side, only maybe the builder huts are completely free for me to take with my few wizards. Those cannons are just a little bit too close to those collectors and those barracks. I'm trying to see if maybe I can get them going the right direction, but there's no way that I can get that town hall. That one inferno tower and those two mortars are way too much for me to deal with. Now my wizards are wasting all their time on those walls. I mean, they may be wizards, but they can't get through level 11 walls. And now my wizard ran forward instead of going for the builder hut, and he dies before he can take out another building. I'm not sure why he went for that elixir collector instead of going to the builder's hut. Instead, he walked on top of the builder's hut and went for the elixir collector behind it. I will not be able to understand why he did that. At this point, I had pretty much given up. I'm like, oh god, 49%. My wizard's gonna die. My wizard dodges the mortar. Mad skills, he jukes that mortar. And he gets that one last shot off and gets the 50%. He dies right after he gets the 50%. He only lived because he dodged that one mortar shot. That's some mad wizard skills right there. This next guy, I know how to attack this base. I may need to get a clutch to win, so it doesn't sound like I know how to attack this base, but I do know how to attack this base. You come sort of from the corner slash side here, you never come from the town hall side. If you come from the town hall side, you're just going to hit a bunch of traps and Tesla. I know this because this is Alex's troll base. We did a video together, and he used this base. He designed this base, as far as I know. And I'm going to come in, I'm going to try and jump into the town hall. That's how I usually do it, and it usually works pretty well. But unfortunately, my jump spell isn't quite on par. It gets a few things over, but they don't get over very quickly because there's only a very small area they can move into to where they jump. But my king is on the town hall. He is going the right direction. That king, he's been good to me lately. That king has been good. But he got distracted. Where are you going? Nope. Are you going back now? He takes one last swing at it. But I'm only at 28%. My troops didn't spread out as much as I would have wanted them to. Where are you going, Pekka? There's a free building right there. Go back there. Go back. Go back before you die. Take that building. Come on. Come on. Eh. Nope. He does not get it. He's too busy just standing still. My Pekka stood still for several seconds, trying to calculate where to go, and then died before he could do anything else. And now all I have left is a couple troops. I have five wizards, a couple archers, four minions, and I have 14% to go. Look at this. Everything is covered at least a little bit by something. There's nowhere that's absolutely free building, except I brought minions. I decided on a whim, I'll bring minions just because I may need to pick something off and there may be cannons. And this guy, 
he's got two sides that have only cannons covering the outside. Right behind them, there's archer towers. So if I moved forward a little too far, he gets shot. And as you saw, I put down an archer there, and it didn't really work. Archer got blown away in one second before she could even get a second shot off. But I'm at 42%. Where are the buildings that I can get? Oh, the minion's going down. Come on. Okay, I was able to take that army camp thanks to the reduction in health. Look at that. Got to distract with the wall breaker. Trying to take it with the wizard. I'm at 46%. What am I going to do? Oh, no, the archer tower's in range. The archer tower's going to take him out. Distract with the wall breakers, one shot with the wizard, 49%. And I have just enough to take down that gold storage. There is not enough time on the clock for my archer to take out the gold storage by herself. And she was able to take it with the help of the wizard. Got the second star. Without a lot of luck and distracting with wall breakers, I would not have gotten that second star. Now, the last one is my favorite. I think it's the best one. I think this is the best one. I'm attacking Takamac of King's Diamond. Now, I'm going in with Quattro Lava Lunion, because I've been practicing with that, and I've been getting a little bit better. So I'm just trying to pick off some stuff at the start, deploy my balloons first, and then my Lava Hound. See? I'm getting a little bit better. That way, my balloons and Lava Hounds get there right around the same time. Try and freeze as much as I can. I was hoping to freeze the Archer Tower as well and get all four buildings, but I wasn't able to. And apparently that expo is actually down. I was assuming it was going to be up. I didn't check. If it was shooting, I did not check. But it's going well so far. I'm clearing out pretty well. There's one multi-target Inferno Tower. There is also one single target Inferno Tower, which does nothing. But all my balloons are dead, and now all my minions are dead too. I only have the balloons on the left side. I don't have any in the core, so they're just taking out some percentage. I'm definitely going to get the one star on this one. There's no way I can't. I got both my heroes. There's no way I can't possibly get that one star. This 47%. I mean, I could get it with just my minions remaining, probably. Okay, probably not, because I only have one minion right there. But he's at 49%. I only need one building. And the Archer Tower is distracted. My minion's going to take the 50%, it looks like. I'm waiting on my Archer Queen, because I want my heroes to go to the center. My king went off to the side, so I want him to clear out the compartment before I deploy my Archer Queen. At least clear it out somewhat, so my Archer Queen goes more towards the center. That's where I want her to go. Apart from that single target Inferno Tower, there's nothing really protecting the Town Hall right now. All the Expos in range have been taken out. So I just need to get one hero to the Town Hall. My King is obviously not going to go there because he's got to break through so many walls. So I deploy my Queen, but my Barbarian King's ability is active and before she can break through the right wall, he breaks through the other one and pulls her off course, and now she's going down instead of over. Where are you going, Queen? Stop it. Go the right direction. Go. At least the single target Inferno Tower hasn't targeted my Queen yet. Oh, no. No. Okay. Fine. Look at my Queen's health. Watch my Queen's health. Oh, my. Oh, so close. I barely tapped it in time. It cranked up to full power. I have a lightning spell. I want to get rid of that skeleton trap, even though there's only, like, two of them. Okay. Inferno Tower is down. Queen is not targeting the town hall. What are you doing? Why are you hitting the thing way behind it? Okay, why are you hitting the thing below it? Finally! Now, do you have enough health to take out a town hall without any rage or ability? Go, queen, go! Come on, come on, come on, come on. Go. Go. Yes! 70% two-star. I only got the second star because my queen finally went the right direction. She might have gone off after that Biller's Hut in another universe, but she goes over here and she dies now because that other expo's there. And I get four trophies. The guy was worth six trophies, but you know what? It's worth it to see my queen do something right for once. She went way off course along with the Barbarian King and then just did a straight right turn, almost went down, and then went right back in. I thought I was screwed on the second star. When I saw that all my balloons had gone down, all my minions were gone from the center, I knew that there was no way I was getting it with them, and I knew my heroes were going to go way off course, and there was no chance in hell that they would go the right direction, but they did. I do not ever expect my heroes to go the right direction, and when they do, that alone makes it an almost clutch raid. Even if they go the right direction in the beginning, you can almost count as a clutch raid, because normally, they're going off random directions, even if you deploy them the right time. They're just like, you know what? Screw it. I'm going to the left. What? But there's nothing there. No, I don't care. I'm going to the left. But I hope you enjoyed that 
Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Tyrael, out.